Children First's mission, as long as I've been involved with them, is to offer an opportunity for counseling and for help in crisis. Family crisis and family violence is a constant and ever-present problem, a plague on our society. Children First offers the only opportunity in Grand Prairie to the underprivileged to, to find some counseling that can make a, a dramatic change in people's lives. For there to be an agency right here in Grand Prairie that addresses those issues and tries to help kids and families through those turbulent times is, is critical. I found Children First in the phone book, actually. Children First Counseling, this is Ingrid. How can I help you? When I first found Children First, I literally was at the end. Like, I couldn't handle anymore. I felt like either I needed help or a way out or I was just going to be destroyed. Fortunately for Jennifer and her two children, she did make that phone call. What she found at the other end of the line were the people and the place that would give her something that life had totally taken away from her. Hope, hope and healing. And we do that through education and counseling. We give people the tools to heal emotionally and to break the cycle of abuse in their family. Children First has been providing that hope and healing in Grand Prairie since 1977. Founded as a volunteer-based agency, it has evolved into a renowned and respected organization that includes skilled and compassionate licensed professional therapists. There's a counselor for everybody here that can help, we can help just about anyone. A lot of people that come to us, you know, they've been in domestic violence situations, they've been abused, they've had issues, they have lots of trust issues, and so I think one of the most essential qualities that our counselors provide is a caring environment and a caring relationship. Something that Jennifer desperately needed. Her case epitomizes what the name Children First stands for. It infers that we are all children first. And it was during her early childhood in Oklahoma that she first experienced abuse at the hands of her father. My father, growing up, was a drug dealer and pretty much sold anything he could get his hands on. Um, did a lot of trafficking from state to state and at one point in time was sent to federal prison where he did enough time to where he became a drug addict himself and he was a junkie when he was released from prison and at that point introduced me to drugs as well at the age of 10. At the age of 10? Yeah. By the time I was 13 I was fully addicted to meth and cocaine I also started dealing drugs to supply my habit as well as his. So at that time, my dad would have me run pounds of marijuana for him. Unfortunately, uh, by the time I was 11, I was in and out of detention centers and locked up a lot. She was now deeply entrenched in what is known as the cycle of violence. I entered into a relationship fresh out of high school and um, got pregnant right away right out of high school with a man who was abusive to me. In essence, she traded one abusive situation for another. Although she had broken all ties with her father by then, she decided to leave Oklahoma to follow the father of her children to Texas. I don't have any family down here or anything, so I moved down here and I got back with my ex who was abusive. They had two children together but it became clear to her that for their sake and hers, she would have to break that cycle. So 10 years into the relationship, she finally made the phone call that changed her life. I knew I wanted out of the abusive relationship. I knew I wanted out of just everything. Jennifer's case was real striking because of the amount of abuse and the type of abuse that she had suffered. I had not dealt with someone who with such a severe background. She's now three years into counseling at Children First and the results have been incredible. 
She has a good job, has earned an associate's degree in school, and is working toward a bachelor's and eventually wants to get her master's and start her own business. All that while raising her two kids. Unfortunately, I don't believe that she truly saw what a loving um, family was. And um, even not experiencing that as a child, she is trying to make sure that her children um, have that within their childhood. And, and I believe that she's doing an awesome job. I learned more parenting skills and coping skills. It made a difference in how I parent my children. I can say now me and my son are a lot closer than what we were before I came to Children First. She tries her hardest to leave that life um, and to become a success story on you can break away from addiction. I believe that she really truly is. She's really a success story. She is willing to do the work and turn her life around and as a result her children have a very, very good chance of not continuing the cycle of violence. Jennifer's story is a testament to the work being done every day at a place that now handles as many as 1,200 cases every year. It's a place where hope really is a way of life. Many, many, many of them, in spite of their abuse and neglect histories, given just a spark, will light the fire. The sky's the limit. I mean, all you have to do is just get help. You know, there are there's resources out there that will help you. There's people out there that will help you and places like Children First that can just do miracles. 